What's going on guys, back with another video. Today I'm here with Anna as well as Dre. So Anna's S2000 is here. Uh, I'm gonna work on it a little bit. And then we have Dre's 370Z over there. So yeah, we're gonna have a bunch more guys join us here. Today is a Monday. Again, I don't typically shoot videos on Monday, but there's a car meet going on. So we might have Marco swing by with the 370Z as well. Uh, Miguel swing by with the Type R and then uh, Min swing by the IS300. So, catch you guys in a little bit. So, while waiting for Min, Miguel, Marco, and the rest to come, we're gonna ask some questions. So, we already interviewed uh, Anna on the S2K, but pretty recently she put on those seats. So, a few videos back, how with the installation of the seats. She also put in the Cypher Auto harnesses as well as the roll bar. So, I guess you had the seats for how long now? A few weeks? Yeah, a few weeks. Do you like them? Like comfortable They're or? They're super tight. So honestly, if you're <laughs> like, if you have anything bigger than a 36 inch waist, you're probably not gonna fit. <laughs> They're really tight. <laughs> and then what about those harnesses? Do you like, you still have the stock seat belts or you took them off? No, I took them off. Um, so you race car everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but I like them a lot. Um, cool, cool. And then what about the roll bar? You were telling me stuff about it was pretty difficult, you had to like drill extra holes and stuff? Yeah, or? yeah, we had to set it in first and then drill all the holes. Um, I thought it was going to be for two people, but it's a one person roll bar, so I only have spots for the driver's seat belt. So let me so come around and show you guys. So by one person, she basically meant that where the bar is, instead of going all the way through, it only uh, comes back to the driver's side. So the proper way to mount your, um, I guess your harn your uh, seat belts, your racing seat belts are like are on the same level as your shoulder. See those are drooping down. I know some people bolt them to the ground, which is super dangerous and ghetto. If you ever get in a wreck, you're gonna snap your neck. So <laughs> it, yeah. Uh, yeah, it actually breaks your spine if they're at too low of uh, an angle. angle. It just compresses yeah. you. Those are almost legal, but the angle is a little bit too <laughs> acute. Just a little bit. Cool, cool. So, uh, we also have uh, DeAndre's 370Z over there, the Nismo, which year again? I, I always forget. 2013. 2013 Nismo. So, we're going to walk around there and check it out. So, this is a more up close look of uh, DeAndre's 2013 Nismo 370Z. So, um, I know a lot of you guys who watch the videos, you guys like the 370Z, you guys like Marco 370Z. Um, but this is the Nismo. So, from the factory, uh, even in case you guys didn't know, Marcos is the base model 370Z. So you can make it look good too even though it's the base model. And this is a Nismo. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty stock, um, stockish looking for now. Uh, DeAndre has plans for it. But you want to walk, like do a quick rundown. What's the main difference of uh, the Nismo versus like say the base model? Mm, so like with the Nismo, it just comes with like the upgraded exterior parts. Kind of like the different bumper, wing, uh, the suspension is very different, a lot more tight, mm -hmm. although I think it sits higher, personally. But I have the 2013, unfortunately I don't get the seats like the 15. Oh, do they, what kind of seats they come with? Mm, like Recaro's. Recaro's, dang, so 15 and up is Recaro's, mm -hmm. that's pretty sweet. And then you also have those 19 inch ray wheels with the Brambles from the factory, so uh, like in Marcos, he doesn't have any Bramble bricks, so the Nismo does. And really nice ray wheels uh, and then there's a Nismo wing again the stock Nismo wing but I think it looks really good uh, and then the rear bumper looks really aggressive as well you can see let me get on this angle you can see this little vent here um, yeah so pretty cool and then on the inside it says Nismo on those seats uh, anything different from the interior besides the seats Nope, not in the, from year 09 to 14, there's no difference at all. Okay, so it's mainly like a aesthetic and suspension package, you would say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the sport models come with the Brembo's as well. Okay. What about power output? Is it like pretty much the same or did they kind of have a tune? I believe it's like plus 15, just from the Nismo tune. Nismo tune. Cool, cool. So but yeah. In a straight line, the car is technically slower because of the downforce from the wing. Mm. Compared okay. to the sport and base model. That's what I was told. Mm. But I guess it's built for more suspension, like the springs and struts, I guess, more stiffer. It is. 
So DeAndre also has plans, so it's not going to be this way for too long. So what are your, I guess, your upcoming plans for the car? So more just exterior parts right now. So I'm uh -huh. planning on doing like carbon fiber fenders, just full carbon Ooh, fiber fenders. It's going to look nice. Carbon fiber off here. Is it going to replace, uh, is this thing going to come out and you slap it on the slap fenders? Slap it on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the uh, carbon fiber hood. I'm going to lower the car too. Nice. On coils or springs? Um, or bags? Uh, <laughs> bags would be nice. Ooh. But yeah, probably probably just the coilovers. Nice. I, like everybody keeps telling me to just do the springs. Marcos is on springs, if you exactly. didn't know. Exactly. Marcos yeah. is the one that told me to do the springs too. Yeah. One of the guys. But uh, I haven't really thought too much about it. More, I need to get, I need to get, I need to get exhaust for sure. That's, that's Wait, thing. I thought you had, it was a muffled delete, was it? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but you want like an actual cat back exhaust? Mm -hmm. Okay. Actual cat back and then different headlights for sure. I hate I hate chrome. Mm. So I'm probably going to get rid of the badges too. Do like carbon fiber badges they, I saw online. Nice. But I definitely hate chrome for sure. It's like one of my biggest <laughs> things. I just hate it. But yeah, the headlights got to go pretty soon too. So that's okay. probably going to be after the coilers. And then you did mention some wheels maybe down the road as well. Yeah, maybe the T37s, that'd be nice. Um, yeah. Nice. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Zs out there, uh, but for sure you don't really see the Nismo too often. Um, yeah, I just think it's really nice. <laughs> the boy Min just show up in the IS300. What's up, bro? Dre just left. Yeah, I saw him. Man. Oh, he saw him on the way up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so McGill just got here in his Civic Type R. It's been a minute since we've seen the car. So, yeah, he's been driving around that blue daily truck for a long time, but it's so good to see the Civic Type R back. Ooh, she's looking so good, mighty fine. And he's spotting the Civic Type R shirt too, had to represent. <laughs> Tell you guys what was going on earlier. So earlier on, we had like a bolt stuck in one of the holes right there. So uh, Master Tech McGill came to the rescue. <laughs> but well, anyway, it was stuck. It broke into half. I don't know how the 10 millimeter bolt broke into half, but it, it did. So uh, I guess right now we have to. Well, McGill already took it out, and we're just gonna try to I guess redrill it, right? No, we're gonna tap rethread it. Rethread yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have my tap and dice head, so... Alright, so the S2000 is good to go. Miguel saved the day, managed to get the bolts in. So, I'm gonna move the car there. And then, right now, just spring down Miguel's Civic Type R, giving this thing a good bath. So, just happy to see the car back. So the Type R is all clean now. So, right now, we're gonna decide where we're gonna go eat first. Uh, with the group before we go to the car meet. Here we decided to go with food. So Miguel Civic Type Bar. I'll link his Instagram right here. If my Civic, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Anas S2K Instagram right here, and Min's Lexus IS300. All right. So we got back to the house with my friends. Um, we were gonna head out to the car meet. We did. We actually head out the car meet, but it was really late. Uh, it was pretty dark, so I don't actually didn't you know take the camera along, um, but we saw some pretty cool cars there. There's the RB Swap Datsun. Uh, there's a M3 with a 2JZ big turbo on it, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, I didn't actually get it, like I said, on camera because I left it at home. But I did get it on my Instagram story, so let me just show you guys. Cheers! We made it here to the car meet. Super late. Better late than never. Damn, look at this M3. Look at the size of that turbo. And 2J, 2J swap, M3. So yeah, I had it there on my Instagram story. If you guys haven't already followed me on my social media, on Instagram, go ahead and smash that follow. You can follow me on Instagram, at JUS underscore TYN, where I post almost daily photos of my cars. Um, you can also follow the YouTube channel Instagram page at the J Media, where I post photos of random cars that I see, um, you know, that I take photos of, cars that I feature on the channel, stuff like that. So be sure to give me a follow on those social media pages on Instagram. So I'm going to end the video here. Leave a like if you like it, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.